ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a little added bonus video. Usually I only do predictions and reviews, but I'm branching out and I want to make a bit of an announcement right now. In the comments down below, I've actually started a Facebook page for this channel. Yes, that's right, uh, where I'll be posting my instant reactions to any anything that's not worthy of a video in in of itself. Now, um, the link to that will be in the description below. It's facebook.com forward slash Grimm's WWE Countout. So that's what I've decided to call it. Uh, head over there. It's only got about 10 people liking it right now. I want to see it a little bit higher if possible. Um, you know, if you see, you know, just click on the link down below. It takes literally two seconds just to like it. And if you're on Facebook, you'll get, anytime I post, you'll get a little message to say what I've posted about. Now, that being said, this video is not about my Facebook page. It's not about an announcement on my Facebook page, although I might do one of them as well. Um, it is just the early speculations of the WrestleMania card. As you can see, I've got the good old logo up here, which I actually quite like. Didn't like last year's one, but this one I actually quite like. Um, so I'm going to break down what, what is rumoured to be happening at WrestleMania each match, um, and if I think it's a good idea, bad idea, and what I think the, the, the actual result would be if the match actually happens. Now, obviously, we've got three matches straight off. I've already mentioned them in a previous video. Excuse me. I'm hiccuping now. Um, but I'll mention them again. I'll quickly go through them again just to get, uh, reiterate them there. So we've got Triple H versus Reigns for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Um, pretty pretty standard fare. Now, there was, a, there was uh, an original plan. Supp supposedly, there was a rumor going around that they were going to have someone with history, with links to Triple H, be a special guest referee for this match. Uh, they were aiming for Dave ba uh, Batista, but he didn't like the idea and turned it down. Um, I'm glad they're not doing that. I, I don't think they need it, to be perfectly honest. Although I wouldn't mind seeing a, um, you know, like a uh, Shawn Michaels maybe. Uh, however, the typical thing they tend to do with uh, with when, when they have a big match like this, where it's for the title, is they have some kind of swerve where the uh, where the referee gets involved. Uh, either it turns, uh, you know, does a turn on the person that they're actually to support, or it uh, you know gets involved in the match. I kind of don't want that. I kind of want this storyline to be done. I kind of want Reigns to, you know, for Triple H to retain the title and go and Reigns to go mid card for a little bit, because uh, I think the push on Reigns is failed miserably. Um, now the other match that we've announced is the Undertaker versus Shane McMahon in a Hell in a Cell match for control of the company. Now, I'm hearing mixed things about this match. I'm hearing that Shane McMahon's only scheduled to be in WWE until um, until WrestleMania, and then that's it. If that's the case, then he's obviously going to lose to The Undertaker. Um, however, if if he is meant to be staying on a little bit longer than that, he, there's got to be some kind of push or pull here. Um, you know, it's, it's keeping it. Now, I think personally that there was a lot of big news uh, backstage that this guy, that Shane McMahon's back for a bit, a bit longer. Than, you know, maybe not you know much further past wrestlemania but he's back you know for, for the foreseeable um and i think that the pressure of that wwe have kind of got the opposite rumor going now that actually no to kind of keep the speculation going because uh, they can't you know but this is this is the thing the, the, i i think all the buzz about the brand separation now that's that's gone around i think it's inevitable that it's going to have to happen now they teased it they've accidentally teased, teased it without even realizing uh, I think it has to happen. Now, this match could be good, could be bad. We'll soon find out. Now, the other announced match was Lesnar versus Ambrose in a street fight. No holds barred street fight. Now, this match, I'm pretty much not that bothered about. I'm going to be honest. It's It doesn't really intrigue me. It doesn't get me going. You know, it's not like when Shane O'Mac came out. Excuse me. <clears throat> now, here are the other matches that are rumoured to be added to the card. We've got the Andre the Giant Battle Royale, which really I think WWE should give up on now. I don't think it's needed. Um, <coughs> I think that's just a way of getting wrestlers who don't have matches involved. Now you, you're probably looking at Mark Henry being in this. You probably, you know, you're probably looking at you know Big Show maybe. Um, but I hope, I hope they don't go with if they're going to do this. I hope it's someone who's an up and comer. I hope it's not a a wrestler that doesn't really need it, like the Big Show. He does doesn't need it. He's a bona fide Hall of Famer. I think they gave it him just because he's the giant um, of WWE at the moment. I think this one would be interesting if they pushed Braun Strowman in this match and actually put Braun Strowman in and have him win it. But 
while I say that, I kind of don't want it to be Braun Strowman because I'd like someone like Kalisto maybe to, to pick up the win, you know, a smaller guy. We've had, you know, a big stocky guy in the big show win. We've had a slightly smaller guy in, in, in Cesaro winning. I kind of want a smaller guy, you know, a fast mover. So we're talking Kalisto, we're talking about maybe someone else, Neville possibly. You know, someone of that stature, maybe even someone from NXT, bring them up. Uh, we've also got a pointless match. Now, this must be for the tag belts, but, uh, we, you know, I don't know. And it's the New Day versus the League of Nations. I hope this match doesn't happen. I hope this gets changed. This match I am not excited for at all. Uh, put the League of Nations in the Battle Royale. It'd make it interesting having a group of four people working together, um, you know, to, to eliminate. But ultimately... I don't want the New Day fighting. I would much rather have big, uh, big, uh, you know, big Cass and Enzo from NXT get brought up um, and actually fight the New Day than have the League of Nations. <clears throat> uh, on the female side of things, we've got Charlotte against the winner of Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch on this Monday Night's Raw coming. Uh, the winner of that's going to face Charlotte. However, there is speculation that WWE are going to do like a swerve to that match where, um, you know, it will be a triple threat or, or something along their lines. So I'm happy about that. I think it would be nice to actually see Charlotte, Sasha Banks and Becky Lynch fighting fighting together in, in the ring, you know, you know, having an NXT off, if you if you like. Um, it, bring, it brings back when they were all at NXT. So I'm down for that. Um... Steve Austin, The Rock, Shawn Michaels and Ric Flair will all be appearing at WrestleMania, apparently. Um, the Rock will be the host of the show, obviously. That's already been announced. <coughs> while, WWE, uh, while WWE still has not decided on what roles Austin and Michaels will, will, will have. Now, obviously, Michaels could be that special guest referee if they go back to that plan. I hope they don't. Um, they don't need it. Um, it does say here that... Um, there's two different scenarios being discussed for Michaels, neither of which involves him wrestling in a match. Now, that could still mean he's a special guest referee uh, because he wouldn't actually be wrestling. Um, but inevitably, he could probably still do a sweet chin music if he needed to. Um, and he certainly would get things talking. Now, they're the matches that have been rumoured, stroke confirmed, stroke heavily, heavily discussed about. Um, and I think pretty much they're, they're spotting there. From what I've not heard, though, that I haven't heard anything about the other two championships, the um, the Intercontinent or the US belt. I've not seen anything about them. I did a post on my Facebook page yesterday about what I would hope they would do with the US belt. I may do a video on that, too, and just reiterate what I've said. Um, because I think they should do a TLC match for that, or, or at least a, a ladder match for it. Uh, with Kalisto in, he was he had his OMG moment of the year at, in a in a ladder match uh, for the tag team belts. I would love it if he was to do the same sort of thing, but for the US belt, that would that would I would be down for that. You know, I'd be going yes, yes, yes. But that's my video for today. I may do another one tomorrow. I might be trying to get one video out a day at least for the next week. But I'm gonna I'll I'll see if I can do that. I've got another video in mind which I might just shoot today. Um, but at the end of the day, that is my video for today. I hope you like this. Rate it, thumbs up. Do look in the description for the link to my Facebook page. As I mentioned, you will get instant reactions to any wrestling news I hear over on the Facebook page before I can even do a video for it. So it is kind of like the best way of getting getting news uh, from me there. You know, my, my thoughts on any news that's reported by other places such as Bleacher Report, Wrestling News, um, you know, uh, Ringside News and places like that, No DQ. Um, you know, I will I will basically give my thoughts on it straight away on that page if I see it and if I've got time um, to, to quickly type something up. Now, they're mostly freehand stuff. I don't really go into, um, you know, make sure everything gra is grammatically correct. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I, I do try and do my best in that regard. So if you do like this video, please rate it a thumbs up. Go over to my Facebook page, like the video, and I'll see you next time for the next video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.